The temperature T in degrees Celsius inside an oven after T seconds is graphed below. Approximate the instantaneous rate of change at 50 seconds. So at 50 seconds, the graph is at the point here. So if we want to approximate the instantaneous rate of change, we need to draw a tangent to the point on the curve there, which means we'll draw a straight line with a ruler that just touches at that point. So there's our tangent, and what we need to do next is determine two points that are on the tangent so that we can determine the gradient of that line. So looking through, the first point we might identify is the one here, which is at 10 seconds and 80 degrees. Continuing up the line, we find the one at 130 and 170 degrees. So those two points are just chosen at random to be nice convenient points that lie on our tangent and we can now calculate the gradient of that line. So the gradient of our tangent line is going to be y2 subtract y1 over x2 subtract x1 and that's going to give us the rise over run of the curve. So putting our points in we have y2 is 170 subtract 80 and then x2 is 130, subtract x1, which is 10. So on the top line, if we evaluate that, we end up with 90, and dividing the bottom line, which is 120. And the simplest fraction that can be expressed at is 3 over 4, which in the decimal form, which you don't need to give, but which we can here because it's quite easy, is 0 0.75. And in the context of this question, that's going to be an increase of 0 0.75 degrees Celsius per second at the point T equals 50. So that's the instantaneous rate of change at T equals 50.